Configuring Neovo The thing that people have been trying to do for the past several thousand years is now all within your reach with this one simple guide on YouTube. If you want to take this garbage editor, the default NeoVim, to be the perfect text editor, the best of them all, well, that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. So, first thing you wanna do when you configure NeoVim is create a folder called config slash NeoVim. Oh, it exists. This might not be the first time I'm recording this video. Try again. Config NeoVim. Nothing is in here, okay? So you wanna vim in it dot lua, that's gonna be the first file. Everything happens in here. You just type require or subscribe. It can be whatever you want, but it subscribe is the best because you know what they should do. Subscribe. Then you can create Lua directory and inside of that subscribe. That's why it's subscribe, okay? Then you can cd into lua subscribe and here you can create another init.lua. Now we can do require subscribe.options. What is this? Well, that's the options.lua file that we're gonna create right now. See, now there's no error because we've created it. So we can do options.lua and here. Normally what you will do in Vim is you will do set number to get the line numbers. The equivalent to that in a neo vim in the Lua configuration is vim dot op dot the option you want. So let's say number and then you do equals true. Okay, so you can do as many of these as you want. It's it it's just this simple. But sometimes it's more like set let's say tap stop and then it's equals some number. For example four. In Lua like this you will just do the same thing and then you just do equals the number instead of true and now when you quit NeoVim and you open it again perfection not yet because now we're gonna make it perfect by installing community plugins let's create plugins.lua and call it in here you know how it goes plugins how do we install plugins first we're gonna install some package manager or plugin manager how it's called the one we're gonna use in this video is called lazy.nvim and why lazy.nvim because it looks the coolest when it's installing stuff so you come onto this github page you come down you copy this you paste it in this file don't care about what it does then you copy this you paste it again you remove this Instead of that, you type uh, curly braces, and that this is where your plugins are gonna be. So, what plugins are we gonna install? Well, firstly, we obviously need some colors. That's the most important thing. We wanna make it look good. What I'm gonna install is Gravbox because that's the best color scheme on this planet. Obviously, it's the one I'm using. With the color schemes, you don't even need to care about what's in the readme. Those color schemes are usually so small. That you can just take the username slash name of the repo, paste it in here, put it in quotes, and most importantly, don't forget about this. You're gonna regret it. Put comma at the end of the line. Now we can relaunch NeoVim and look at this beautiful screen. Well, that was boring. Second try. Let's go. Okay. Now we can reopen NeoVim and we can do color scheme rough box. Looks so good. But there's one problem. Let's reload NeoVim. There, there, there's no color scheme. What, what is that? We just installed it. We did nothing so that it launches at the start. So what do we do? Create a new folder called after. And in that, there's gonna be plugin. Anytime you need to do anything with a specific plugin, you just do after plugin some file.lua. So let's do team.lua. If you wanna auto start some commands, you do it like this vim, cmd, then you put parentheses and quotes, and then the command graphbox. Now we got the color scheme. But we just got color scheme. What if I get bored of this and I want some better file tree? Let's install Neo Tree. Find example for lazy. Paste it in. And most important thing. What is it? Yes, correct. Comma at the end. 
and now we can type neo tree and look at this isn't this just perfect there's one problem we don't have a key binding for this let's fix it. gonna create a new file which is gonna be remaps i know it doesn't exist now it does well first let, let's set a leader key vim.g.map leader equals space okay i don't care what you want from now on your leader key in every single program is gonna be space so how do we actually set key bindings you do vim.keymap.set then you choose the mode so normal mode then you set what is it so let's do leader n as neo tree and then what does it do well you could type something if we wanted it to come into insert mode type neo tree and escape so it we are normal mode now we can just press space n and it types neo tree one way is just colon command and then cr which for whatever reason this is enter i have no idea who created this but that's just stupid there's actually a better way and that's vim.cmd yes again but we don't need to do it this way when it's just one word command we can actually just do it like this much simple right now i do space n let's install some more plugins so lua subscribe plugins dot lua and we're gonna install lua line which is this nice line at the bottom of the screen lazy dot new vim copy this auto format comma at the end quit come back this come back and nothing happens why of course we need after plugin lua line dot lua and they said right you, you just need this line that's simple just just this one line but that was kind of boring right it's just a line at the bottom of the screen like who needs it let's install a plugin that's not boring at all resitter so copy the we we don't actually need to copy this ju just do it the good old way presetter because anyway you 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 just need this that's literally it and again nothing happens okay it installs resitter how does resitter even work so vim of course after plugin ts.lua i don't want to type resitter and then vim.cmd ts enable highlight what is this well with resitter you can install any color uh, any syntax highlighting for any language so ts install type any language it, it will exist okay look at this list it will exist in tree sitter so type lua ts enable highlight it's so nice so much nice so now it goes automatically okay look at this plugin slide file it's just so much better let's install more plugins because we can right let's install telescope because it's the best way of finding files in neo so come onto this repo copy this paste it in we didn't actually need this we don't need this line or this line okay let's auto format it because this is ugly and what to do yes comma at the end quit come back and how do we set key bindings for telescope yes we can run telescope you can type find files and now we can find any file so let's do remaps.lua because we're definitely gonna create a telescope remap and whilst you could just do something like telescope cr find whatever you, you could probably do that as a better way okay create local telescope okay this is telescope and now we can run telescope dot find files so now when i press leader dot this is absolutely perfect now let's install the obviously most important thing so come back into plugins you know how it goes come into this repo scroll down until you see expand lazy dot envim copy this thing paste it in here yes we definitely want mason it makes it so much easier and delete this Auto format, pretty simple. Quit, come back, wait till it's installed. Okay, now let's do after plugin lsp.lua. Scroll a little bit up until you find the use template configuration. Click on that. Copy this entire block of code. 
and let's just place it in here we definitely don't need this or this or this or this or this or this this is how you need it to look okay uh much better what you do is you wanna install something so you just run mason command you can find any lsp okay for any language just search lua let's say we want lua lsp find something i know there's one called lua language server okay by the way you press i to install as you can see it now still now tells you what's wrong with this file and what could be done better and when you on the line where something wrong and you press f4 and wait the screen key stops covering up half of your screen you can now choose what it will do okay let's just do one which is literally just do nothing and stop warning me about it let's do the same thing here so one and it's all gone 